morning. I'm Ainsley. Today is Wednesday, May 31st, 2023, and you make this world a better place. Now to the pledge. Please stand and put your right hand on your heart as your size pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to splash. It's time for Splash Expectations. This is your daily reminder to be respectful, responsible, and safe no matter where you are. Let's hear it. Expectations. We've got three. I PGE we pledge to be respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge. You must write your first and last name. Do not put a dime between them. Also write your teacher's name. And the winners are Adeline Haley from Ms. Hafner, Madeline Hudgens from Ms. Clark, Jace Fisher from Ms. Schneider. Uh, that's not Hudson. Mitchell Oliver from Ms. Stansberry. And in third through fifth grade, Addie Hicks from Ms. Franklin. Lexi Jeffries from Ms. Silas. And Ava Robinson from Ms. Silas. Now to birthdays. Today's birthdays are Kayla Adams, Maddox Hayes, and Mrs. Dow. Let's give them a big birthday shout out. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Now to Word Up Wednesday. Thank you. Today's word is aptitude. It's a noun, a natural ability to do something. At the talent show, we saw students with an aptitude for music, dance, and art. Now back to broadcaster. Thank you. Today's Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. It is the Yellow Special Area Day. Happy last day of school. Late bus duty. Actually, car rider duty. Fourth grade. Now let's find out what's for lunch from Danny the Dolphin. Oh, Danny! Today for lunch, we will have beefy street tacos and corn dog. For fruit, we will have chilled strawberry cups and fresh apple slices. For vegetables, we will have refried beans, salsa, and broccoli and cheese. That sure sounds scrumptious. If you have any lunch trays in your classroom, please return them to the cafeteria ASAP. If you have a student eating in a classroom, please let the cafeteria know when you come through the line and we can provide a throwaway tray. Happy last day of school. Now back to broadcast. Thank you, Danny. No bus 2078 and 1867. Families will need a self-transport. Now to a message from us again. Thank you. Happy last day of school, fifth graders and Miss Lynch. We are going to miss you guys next year. So enjoy today and enjoy the next chapter of your life. Um, all library books should be turned in. So teachers, I put the most updated li list. It's actually dwindling, so that's good. Uh, but that's in the Dolphin Cove if you want to check today's list. Also, teachers, if you could take a moment with your class today, uh, four teachers have already done this, but if you could just take a few minutes to discuss broadcast with your class what you liked about it, what you didn't like, and this will give you a, a chance to give us ideas for next year. And I can assure you we will read those and uh, use some of them for next year. And uh, so if you could take a moment to do that with your class and then fill out that survey, that would be very helpful. Also, fourth graders who applied for broadcast, I'm going through those references right now. Most of your references have already submitted those. There are a few that I'm still waiting on. And then I will mail home a letter to those of you who are on the broadcast team. And usually it's July, so just so you know, um, I'll come back into the building in July. So I'll send that out and then we'll have a training before school starts so we're ready to go on the first day. So that's for our broadcast uh, fourth graders who are applying for broadcast. Also, don't forget to do your summer reading challenge. Guys, reading is so important. So make that commitment. I'm just asking for 25 days. I would love it if you turn three sheets in and do 70 plus days for uh, the days that we have in summer starting tomorrow. Also, the uh, Bullitt County Public Library's Summer Challenge starts on June 1st, so that's tomorrow. Stop by the Public Library, sign up, and then if you participate in that, you're going to get a lot of prizes also. But if you bring this back, 
wait until um, you're going to, like I said, circle which activity you did for the day. I would also write the date. You don't have to, but uh, you can also color it in. And then before you come back, you'll know who your teacher is for next year. And you'll bring it to me, and this will be your ticket to the Popsicle Party. Uh, but like I said, if you do a second page, which would be 50 days of summer reading, you're going to get an extra prize at that Popsicle Party. And then if you do 70 plus days, which is almost three full sheets, you are going to get an extra prize. So hopefully we have some who have every single day of summer reading. Now, your parents will sign off at the bottom to confirm that you did it, but we're going to trust that if you say you did it, that you did it. So please be honest, and you're going to get a lot out of your summer reading and a lot of growth and a lot of great stories. So please take advantage of this and have fun with reading. And I think that's all. So have a fabulous summer. Spend some time reading, relaxing, and get some movement into music and art. All the things, but have lots of fun. Back to Broadcaster. Thank you. Fifth grade recognition today at 1045. Congratulations to Maddie Silas, who was our school winner for the Mental Health Awareness Poster Contest. Check the Dolphin Co. for important information. Please post attendance after 9 o'clock today. That's it for announcements. Now it's time to learn so you can create a world of opportunities.